Thank you very much, and thanks for showing up in this tough, tough Pittsburgh weather. But you're a tough, tough city, so I'm not surprised, and I'm going to make this really quick. And I'm just going to tell you that this is an extraordinary honor. I've been asked to come to Pittsburgh for various occasions and reasons. This one I'm always going to remember because this was a tough one. When I was in California watching all of this occur, the feeling of helplessness was extraordinary. This one really hurts. And when it happens in places of worship, like at the Tree of Life, or to the church in South Carolina, any place of worship, that pain runs really, really deep. And I felt really helpless and didn't quite know what to do or what to say, but I felt like, because men are kind of stupid, you always feel like, I have to fix this. And I didn't feel like I could fix it, but I didn't know what to do and I didn't know what to say, and thank goodness, for the executive editor of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette and a staunch supporter of the First Amendment and the freedom of the press, David Shrimman. Because if you read his New York Times op-ed the next day or the day after, it was truly extraordinary. And the title of it is simply, Anti-Semitism Comes to the City of Tolerance. And I will only read a little bit, but it's worth reading, and I highly recommend that you just go and Google this and read it. The first paragraph alone is almost enough. My wife is Polish Catholic from Buffalo. I'm a Jew from Boston. In Pittsburgh, we found remarkable religious harmony that one terrible act of violence will not break. And the title of the article is, Anti-Semitism Comes to a City of Tolerance. I don't have to tell hardly any of you here that we are the quintessential immigrant city. If I went down the list of names through my experience, like Lakowitz, Groznik, Turak, Tallow, Bono, Flipowitz, Rosenfeld, Chen, Schmidt, Kayan, real name I'm sure was Cohen, Lakowitz, Solomon, O'Shea, Vituccio, these things, I'm not even scratching the surface of the surface of the surface. In my own family, we look like the UN. I'm thrilled to change the diaper on this chubby little son of my daughter-in-law and Sean, whose roots go back to Ireland and Israel. If you came over to my house here in Pittsburgh on a Sunday afternoon, my Italian-Irish niece has these fantastic kids whose roots go back to Africa. I'm just scratching the surface of the surface of everyone here's experience. Places Cities, countries are really defined and are what they are because of their people. There's a little line in a very, very small, low-budget film that I did that sticks in my head when my character is confronted with a real obstacle and going through a very hard time, and I'm sitting on the edge of the bed with my older father, played by this wonderful actor. And when I tell him about my situation, this line stays in my head and I think of it all the time. He looks at me and he says, just show them who we are. When I watched on my television screen these days, this extraordinary tree of life community and the entire city, an extraordinary neighborhood of Squirrel Hill, where I lived for a short time, I was dumbstruck and I, and I don't think that's a, and an exaggeration by the elegance and the grace and the high-mindedness. And it's hard to see it when you're inside it, but I can tell you from the outside looking in, you guys look really, really good. And I'm very, very, very proud. I just want to say one thing. A lot of times when I'm working somewhere on location or I'm just home, I have people ask me, I'm thinking of going to America. Where should I go? And the obvious places are places like the Grand Canyon or Mount Rushmore or Yosemite or someplace like that. But now you know what I say to them? I say, if you really want to see America, 
you really want to see America, you got to see its people. So I say, if you wanted to see America, you can go to Pittsburgh. If you want to see a city that's far, far much stronger than hate, you should go to Pittsburgh. If you want to see a city that is tolerant, accepting, and inclusive and compassionate, you should go to Pittsburgh. If you want to bring hate, racism, prejudice, anti-Semitism, division, you can go to hell. But if you want to see a real city in the greatest country that is currently the greatest country, always was, not again, always was, always will be in America, you should go to Pittsburgh. Thank you very much.